My name is Garrett Carr. Uh, we're in the Ulster Museum here in the Belfast Room where I put together a show of maps, all of which talk about new ways of uh, describing the land. The exhibition is called Mapping Alternative to Ulster. The thinking behind this was that there is a lot of, uh, I suppose the kind of cliches, visual cliches about how, how we map places. And in Northern Ireland especially, there's quite a lot of focus on sectarian values or, or those kind of divisions. So we still see them now, uh, political maps divided by orange and green, both of which are, are extremely hackneyed kind of ways of looking at our neighbours and uh, actually have a lot of negative con connotations. Um, there, of course, there are political colours that have been applied to uh, religious divisions for a start, and, uh, and people just aren't that simple. And perhaps they never were, but the, the certainly we're, we're living in a much more diversified Northern Ireland now. So I wanted to draw together some maps that question that, that offer alternatives to that, and that show other ways of looking at where we live. I keep a blog called newmapsofulster.net where I just I, I look at different projects going on around me and I was aware that there was a lot of exciting work going on, a lot of interesting work going on that I just thought was very engaging and some of it was very beautiful and, and quite a lot was important but not enough people were seeing it. So uh, that inspired the idea of getting the show together. There's a lot of different ones here. See, there's a few who call themselves artists but there are quite a few that would would consider themselves to be of other specialists and they just happen to use maps. So the one right in front of us here, The Missing City, this is by Forum for Alternative Belfast, and they're a group of architects, town planners, and they have concerns about how we're managing Belfast as an environment, as a space to live in, and, uh, and they have lots of ideas to put forth. And so they use maps as a, as a kind of a tool to persuade people that to point out problems and address issues in Belfast. Then we have others who are kind of like, who might consider themselves sort of historians. So right next to them here, we've got Johnny McKegney, who died sadly in 2010. And starting in the 1960s, this is, he lived in Tempo, County Fermanagh, a small village. And he started recording the local stories that he'd hear from the old people. And he had a shop, so he was in quite a good location. He'd, People would come in and he'd ask them stuff about how things were back when they were kids and they'd take notes. He started writing down little notes on the brown paper bags that sweets would come in, that he sold sweets by weight. And then gradually he started using bigger pieces of paper and then his wife one day bought him a notebook and little did she know that this was a project that was going to occupy him for decades. Some are about architecture, some of them about animal life. There's one, the, the, the Loch McNean map there is all about the birds that you can see around uh, the two Loch Nines. A very diverse range of subjects, but what I love about it, which is actually quite radical in a way, is that in this globalised era, he chose to focus on about 20 square miles. This is one of the maps that I decided, if I could get this map, I'd do the show, and if I couldn't get it, then I probably won't. Uh, and I got it, so here it is, and we're having the show. This is John Carson, 1976, it's called the Friend Map, and what he's done is he's got a pre-printed map of Belfast area, Antrim, down, and a close-up of Carrick Fergus. And he, and he went around photographing his friends. This is pre-digital photography, of course. So he's taken black and white photographs from everybody. He's taken prints, very small prints, probably directly from the negative, same size as the negative, I imagine. Um, and he stuck them on the map where they live, and then he's drawn lines to connect them. People, they're all his friends, so there's always a line to where he lived, which was Carrick Fergus at the time, but also there's lines connecting the people themselves, people who know one another as well. He's, he's shown that relationship also. Now, these days, in the era of Facebook and whatnot, we're quite used to, in a way, sort of thinking of our friendships in sort of schematic kind of terms, you know? Uh, you know, you've got a friend who knows this person, who knows, knows this person. We kind of draw these circles in our minds and connecting lines. But this is 1976, it sort of seems to predict all that. But more interestingly, and more importantly, 1976 is also the height of the Troubles, it was an extremely bloody year. Yet out of that came this map, which is all about friendship, connection, relationships. People across the city know one another and having friends everywhere. And uh, so it's, it's a wonderful statement, I think. The exhibition is running. It's open now and it's running until the 22nd of June. And there's a number of events as well connected, a number of talks 
and uh, even a mapping project where people can go out and make a map of this neighbourhood. So uh, if you're interested in the events, you can visit mappingalternativeulster.net.